Building an Eco-Bridge Between Idealism and Pragmatism. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 115. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 115, May 17, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with videos and pictures. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the Nature Lesson Plan to the website. This teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of nature and the pages for use in any learning environment. And this brings us to 90% complete. Final pictures for the page are coming next. Behind the scenes, we wrote the next 25% of our lesson plan with the central theme of communication, which now brings that to 75% complete. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, also finished the first 25% of the image creation for the communication lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. Page additionally helped us create this new image for the highest good lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source lettuce hub. And we did this for our open source peas hub. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the Open Source Tomatoes Hub, which you can see here. More recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that feature tomatoes will be added here in the future. Behind the scenes, Benjamin Sessions is continuing the creation of our six-month-long buying list for recipes for the omnivore section of our food self-sufficiency transition plan. This week, he focused on order forms. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? She added these to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and these recipes are vegan egg muffin sandwiches, summer squash noodles, and roasted eggplant tomato soup. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Housing created two new layouts for the shower dome that will be part of the upcoming Dome Home crowdfunding campaign. These new designs make the plumbing more accessible and meet residential code. One on the left is what we will be building. 
Behind the scenes, we finished writing the final waterproofing strategy for these structures. Next, we'll be moving those details to the website. Speaking of moving things to the website, this week the core team moved the net zero water use bathroom layouts and specifics you see here to the website. This is the excellent work of Beatrice Roca, mechanical engineering student. Sheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his eighth round of SolidWorks design specifics for the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included finalizing the stairs, retaining walls, and placing the three domes together as you see here. Sayonara Batista, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, also completed a week of researching the benefits and challenges of earth block construction. You can see the details of Sayonara's work here on the new compressed earth block village pod four page, which has been begun by the core team. The core team also moved another 15% of the earth dome loft structural engineering calculations to the website. This open source work was completed by Antonio Zambianco, civil engineering student, and is now 35% complete on the site. Now Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, completed the initial Cobb Village Pod 3 sketch. Here's a picture of some Cobb homes from around the world also. And the design team members from Team Brazil also created these 3D concept renders of the Earthship Village Pod 6, and also these initial designs of the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. What you see here are the 3D renders, elevations, initial three-level concept layout, initial single and couples units, and a lateral facing unit. Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, began working on the details of the control system design that will eventually service all seven sustainable village models. These images are snapshots of what is being discussed and developed behind the scenes. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated and edited the Duplicable City Center water catchment and storage designs created by Mateus Mora Bajeto. He's a civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics. These designs will capture over 99,000 gallons of rainwater each year living in an area with an average rainfall of only 10 inches per year. Mike Balbino, architecture and urban design student, completed revision three of the Duplicable City Center designs in AutoCAD also. This included straightening walls in the social dome, a new stair design in the dining dome, updated railings and utility closet designs for the third floor, and elimination of dead space with a new cupola design for the fourth floor. All changes that will further improve materials efficiency and make this structure easier to build. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the team began adding images and additional formatting to the work of Binru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting. This is on the tax considerations and strategy page. This work is part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. We'd say this work is now about 20% complete. We also finalized and added the community member home and home shares ownership agreement to the one community legal page. This is the work of Yusuf Suleiman, lawyer and member of the Nigerian Bar Association, and it's added as an open source template for others wishing to form similar home ownership agreements with their members. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is building an eco bridge between idealism and pragmatism. We believe that we have the ability to totally and completely transform this planet into one that is sustainable. And we believe that we can do this within our lifetime. So that would be the idealism piece. The pragmatic aspect of it is we have a very detailed and very specific path to accomplish this goal. That path is taking the foundations of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, and combining them with emotional sustainability, which is highest good education, economics, for-profit, non-profit business creation, uh, re recreation models, as well as true earth stewardship. 
and taking these two things and putting them together as an evolution of sustainability that we believe that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And our idea, our very pragmatic idea, is that if we can make it easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate this way of living as a way that people want so that is attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And a self-replicating idea like this has the ability to change the world and positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet. To do that, though, we need a teacher demonstration hub. So this eco-bridge between idealism and pragmatism for us is founded on two primary things. Number one, consciousness for the highest good of all, thinking of everything that we can do to benefit all of humanity and all life on this planet. And number two, teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to teach others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Everything that we do is designed so it can be implemented as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub model. And then we are open sourcing all of these components and free sharing all of these components as tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions so that people can implement the highest good components in their life in the way that works best for them. So somebody can build themselves an aquaponics structure, or somebody can build themselves an eco-home, or somebody can launch a community-based education program, or just bring a highest good education element into their home life or into their traditional schooling model, so that people can take the information that we're creating and use it in the way that works best for them, and or because it's all open source, so they can modify it, adapt it, change it, and make it the way that they want it, and make it better and improve upon it. And hopefully contribute that improvement, that adaptation, that evolution back to the global collaborative so that we can share that with everybody and make it even better. This is our eco bridge between idealism and pragmatism. This is what we're doing. So if this sounds, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like a great idea, a noble adventure, something that you'd like to be involved in, if you're somebody that believes that you can be the change that you want to see in the world, then we invite you to join us. Get involved. We have lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team that will move to one community and build everything that it is that we're designing right now, to partners and consultants, to satellite members who participate in our weekly calls and everything that happens behind the scenes but are not intending to move to the property. Or, of course, you can just share our information through social media, which is also a huge help to everything that it is we're doing. We're on all of the different social media networks, including LinkedIn, Twitter, Sue, Facebook, Reddit, Tumblr, Pinterest, and 15 other different social media networks because we want to make our information as easy and as accessible as possible for the people that are interested in this, for the people that like talking about this stuff, and for the people that want to help develop this. Building an eco bridge between idealism and pragmatism is really, from our perspective, just a matter of participation. And so our goal is to get as many people involved as possible because we've already put tens of thousands of hours into this. We already have an amazing team and a clear path to accomplishing that ultimate goal of the total and complete transformation of our planet into one that works for everybody. It's just a matter of getting enough people involved. And as we enroll more and more people, we will eventually reach that tipping point of participation where the model will spread like wildfire and we can create a planet that is truly sustainable. It's possible. If we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And so we're building the foundations and the blueprints to make exactly that happen. Now people ask, what is the number one thing that I can do to help one community? Well, you can get involved in the way that I've already described. Or we are still seeking large-scale funding either an investment in one community or a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization to help us get the property off the market. We've been working at the same property for four and a half years now. We still do not own that property. We've chosen that property to share one community with tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people so they can see and experience one community, what it is, the lifestyle, the recreation model, the actual building methods. And if they like what they see, they can take everything that we've created and go and build it themselves. And because everything is open source and free shared, all those blueprints, tools, tutorials, that's what we're creating to make that easy. But we still need the funding to get that property off the market. So if you're somebody who knows somebody, or if you are somebody who has the resources to make that happen, we would love to speak with you. So, and of course, you know, the process continues. So we've already said that you can join us. 
you know, sharing our information. We also like to always say thank you for all the small donations that we get because none of our team is paid. We are a 100% volunteer team, all unpaid, self-included, and doing this because we want to live this way, because we know that creating something like this can impact the lives of millions and billions of people eventually. And so thank you for all the donations. Thank you for all the emails that we get. Thank you for all the comments that we get. Thank you for all the shares that we get on Facebook. And of course, as always, well, first of all, if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Or you can subscribe to our, new, our, our YouTube channel. If you'd like more details, visit our, our written blog. And uh, as I always say at the end of these blogs, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.